Researchers from the University of Cambridge announced a breakthrough that could potentially result in successful lab-induced human fertilization, as well as answers to important questions about the aging process. Using both stem cells and skin cells, the researchers were able to begin the process of creating human sperm and eggs. Stem cells are able to grow into any type of cell in the human body. Skin cells, on the other hand, can be manipulated into having similar abilities as a stem cell. If some adult cell types are taken, grown in plastic dishes, and given specific genetic instructions, over time, a small number of these cells will reverse from their differentiated state and develop the ability to re-differentiate. Now, the final product of the research wasn't mature sperm or eggs. The researchers actually created germ cells, which they say would eventually develop into reproductive cells. So the findings show it's likely possible to create sperm and eggs that do work. As one researcher explained in a Cambridge press release, germ cells are immortal in the sense that they can provide an enduring link between all generations, carrying genetic information from one generation to the next. These mechanisms are of wider interest towards understanding age-related diseases. The process of using skin and stem cells is one we've seen successfully done in mice and rats, but one big factor in this most recent study is the realization the same process cannot be used on humans. Nature explains that's what's so important about the findings, writing, mouse embryonic cells are naive, easy to coax into any differentiation path, whereas human stem cells are primed in a way that makes them less adaptable. Researchers discovered the biggest difference is a gene called SOX17. The mouse equivalent of this gene was not needed to successfully create reproductive cells. SOX17 is a protein that turns other genes on and off. In other words, SOX17 is critical in telling stem cells what kind of cells to become. But CBS makes the point that the findings could open the door to more intensive research on human genetics and certain cancers and could impact fertility treatments sometime in the future. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey.